So I found this video, it's called, He Will Be The Tallest NBA Player Ever by my guy AM Hoops. Hey, I just started watching AM Hoops, he makes really good videos, man, so shout out to him. But it's a 10 minute video, and if it's, it's who I think it is, it's Olivier, or Oliver Rio. He was like, I remember back a few years ago, I made a video on him in 2K, he's like 7'4", back in the day. That was in 2021. So let's see how tall is he now. The tallest players in the NBA now include Chet Holmgren at 7'1", Bull Bull at 7'3", and Victor Wembanyama at 7'4", 7'3", and 7'1". I thought Taco Fall was the tallest player. I thought he was 7'5", or 7'6". Or is he even in the league anymore? I don't even know. But Chet is only 7'1". I thought he was taller. I know that's still really tall, but I thought he was taller. Four. Tallest player ever was George Mirasan in Manute Bowl at 7'7", but 18-year-old Olivier Ryu smashes yeah. that at I 7 feet 9. Damn! I called it, by the way. I knew it was him. I knew he'd still keep growing. Bro, 7 foot 9, and he's still in high school at IMG Academy. I'm bringing back high school hoops to the main channel, but yeah, that's insane. 7 foot 9 is absurd. That's two feet taller than me. Um, Yeah. I'm, not, I'm kind of surprised that Bull Bull didn't end up being taller. I feel like his mom must have been like 5'2", right? Because how do you, how do you not get past 7'7", seven, seven if your dad's 7'7", seven, seven, you know? 7'9", and probably still growing. That's got to be some, some type of syndrome. Nine inches tall and growing. At 12 years old, a video of him <laughs> dominating other kids went viral. Steph Curry commented so many questions, but that was six years ago. He is now at six one of the biggest basketball schools in the country. So can Olivier Ryu actually make it to the league? Because if he does, we have never seen anything like it. He would literally be the tallest NBA player of all time. I'm not gonna lie. The thing with the NBA, I think the reason Taco Fall couldn't make it is because you have to be able to get up and down the court, you know, multiple times. And I don't know if he has that in him to go at the pace of NBA players. Um, and if he can't shoot, he might be cooked. If goaltending was allowed in the league, he'd be super valuable. But if he can't shoot, he just stays in the paint. I don't know how valuable he'll be realistically in the NBA. There have been six people, seven foot, seven inches or taller, who have tried to make the league since George Mirasan retired. No way. But is there such a thing as too tall for basketball? Thanks to Bear Mattress for sponsoring. Ah, nice try, Diddy. Spot. Sun Ming Ming was seven nine. Just whoa, is he is he the son of of Yao Ming Ming? Because yo, seven nine for an Asian, that's like unheard of. Seven nine in general is unheard of, but for Asian people, you know, they're not the tallest. I never heard of this guy though, Sun Ming Ming. It's a fire last name like Olivier, but running was difficult for him because he wore two small shoes as a kid, which deformed his feet. He needed surgery, which put him in debt. So he turned to basketball to pay his medical bills. Damn. The only job he could get was in something called the US Basketball League. Oh, his games were sold out, but it was just so people could watch the freak show in person. Should've seven been a foot seven, Neil Fingleton moved from England to pursue basketball. Neil Fingleton. That's the most UK name I've ever heard. But 7'7". Seven, seven. He looks like uh, like normal. Doesn't look like he has any, you know, disabilities or syndromes. You know, the tall people, like Boban, for example, the, I think it's called Morphin Syndrome. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but yeah, I mean, Neil Fingleton is a fire name. Never US. heard of him. He led his high school to a championship and was a McDonald's All-American. This oh, dude could tough. play. So good, he signed on at Michael Jordan's college, UNC, but back surgery ended his career. Then there's seven uh, foot seven, Rob. That's my guy, hey, Rob, Bob Roxy. He played with LaMelo Ball that one year, Aspire Academy, and he just fell off the face of the earth. I think he was just too skinny. That man had no bone density. Robert Bobrovsky. He tried like hell to put on weight, but was rail thin, no man. matter what. Ate almost 5,000 calories a day. He required medical treatment for a deformed spine and gave up basketball. Man, now, what's tough. crazy about all three is they all found success in movies. Ming Ming was a bad guy in Rush Hour 3. Fingleton was in Game of Thrones. And Robert is in the new Alien Romulus movie. Pretty weird. I think they should all be YouTubers. They make bank. Imagine if they became YouTubers. They make bank. Day in the life of a 7-7 seven, seven dude. Won't be one against anyone. Like, literally. Weird. But Olivier might not have to go that route. See, his height isn't even from a genetic abnormality. There's mm. literally nothing wrong with him. Doctors say it's just from genetics. No his way. His dad is 6'8". His mom is 6'1". And his so his dad is not even seven feet tall. His mom is 6'1", which is super tall for, for a woman, but 7'6", or 7'9", he's about to be? That still doesn't add up. I mean, that, the whole family must, there must be a seven foot uncle or something, because that's still like, 
I feel there's a lot of people, a lot of families, six eight, six one, um, and their kid isn't seven eight, you know. His brother is 6'9", and when you look at Olivier alone, it's not even obvious that he's freakishly tall. Dude's proportions are solid, despite being 7'9", but he could get even taller. When Olivier was 5 years old, he was already taller than his kindergarten teacher. At 8, he was 6'1". He's 7 feet tall at 12 years old, and at 14, set the record for the world's tallest teenager at 7'5". One inch is taller than Wimby at 14 years old. The record for tallest living man is in turkey at eight foot two olivier could actually catch him but that kind of how does that even happen eight foot two that sounds like a miserable life that actually that does not sound practical or fun at all it sucks all. wherever olivier goes he has to duck under doors barely fits into cars yeah. people stare and point like he's a freak which made one tall guy give out business cards that said yes yeah. i'm tall i'm six foot ten i'm gonna start doing no, that for myself kidding. bro no i don't play basketball i play volleyball yeah the weather's nice up here nice try this has been a great conversation so <laughs> annoying the world is not made for people that tall but basketball was in the 1980s Olivier might be the number one pick someday. Hoops yes. was dominated by Facts. big men like Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem, and Shaq. But things changed in the mid 2000s with rule tweaks and analytics forcing teams to take threes. Now, successful seven footers have to give up their size advantage by shooting out from the perimeter or be labeled a modern day Roy Hibbert, which is a nice way of saying bust. For example, seven foot Zach four Eady. Zach Eady won national college. Like he might be a really good college player and fit in the college system really well at, at Florida, wherever he plays. But in the NBA, it's a whole different ball game. And I don't think he has a jump shot. And he might be because of that. Player of the year in 2023 and 2024. But instead of going number one, like he would have in the 80s, he fell to ninth, the third center off the board. No way. Because he plays old school. He doesn't shoot. That's not good enough. I mean, Giannis is 6'11", but he has ball he skills dribble. to create yeah, for himself dribble. and others. Nikola Jokic is a cross between a big man and a playmaker. He can shoot At and pass. At the very least, big guys need to be mobile. They can't be a statue out there. So how does Olivier Ryu stack up? Well, I'm not gonna lie. He's not great. Coming out of high oh, school, no. he was ranked number 305th in the nation in a three-star recruit. He's from Montreal, Canada, and at 16, he had offers from private high schools to develop his game. Even Real Madrid, where Luca came up, but he chose IMG Academy in Florida, where some of the best young players play. His biggest strength is rim protection and setting screens. I but hope so. Getting back on defense is tough because he's so Damn. slow. And is he he's slow. It's over for him. I don't think. Look, I'm rooting for the guy. I don't. I don't know if he's NBA material, man. He might be a really good overseas player, though. That might be be his uh, arc is just going to Europe or somewhere or China and cooking. Coordinated? Ming -Ming. I mean, being that tall and being coordinated is so rare that when Wimby does it, we say, well, he might be the best of all time. Well, Olivier looks clumsy, but I don't blame him because think about it. From 17 to 18 years old, which is what he is now, he grew three inches from seven foot six no to seven way. foot nine. So every year he's having to learn to play in a new body. He can improve more once he stops growing. Now, there aren't a lot of stats from Team Cam Canada U19, but recently he scored 10 points and 10 boards a game in limited minutes, and he made players pay for fouling him. Dude hit nine. Hey man, I'm not gonna lie to you. 10 points and 10 boards is atrocious, bro. You're right at the rim. You should be getting at least 30 rebounds and 45 points a game, and just to pass it to him every single time. 10 and 10 is horrible, unless he's playing like three minutes a game. But if it was me personally, bro, I'd be putting up, uh, I'd probably have a couple hundred point games under my belt if I was seven six or seven nine. This is pathetic. Of 13 free throws, which is a great sign, though he doesn't take outside shots yet. Now, after IMG Academy, he went to the University of Florida, who regularly put out first round picks to the NBA. Al Bradley Horford, Beer, Al Horford Noah. Dorian Finney-Smith, Joking Noah. All knowledge. But he went as a preferred walk-on, not even a scholarship. But I'll oh, give no. him this, at every single spot, Olivier has challenged himself against the best competition he could. Like he could have gone to a D2 school and started, but yeah, he wants that. more, so that he for walks sure. on at Florida. Or he could have gone to one of those private high schools, but he went to IMG Academy. Now, as far as the NBA goes, I feel like his best bet would have been going to the G League Ignite so he can get an idea of how the closest thing to the NBA would look like and see where he stacks up amongst them. Uh, I think that that'd be a good decision for him. The tallest player recently was Taco Fall. 
He was a fan favorite for Boston, but only played 37 games, went to the G League, and is now in China. I think Olivier will play all four years in college, then maybe get a second round pick, probably undrafted. He will Damn. play in summer league someday and be a huge hit just like Taco was. People will pack the arena, but I think his ceiling in the NBA is Boban Marjanovic. Oh my God, a Boban ceiling? That's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. That is disrespectful a little bit. I mean, Boban was solid. That's realistic though, I think. That's realistic. It's not that out of pocket to say Boban was a good player, um, but a ceiling for him, I don't know. And Boban played earlier as the game was changing to more threes. I feel like for Olivier, Olivier, Oliver, sorry, Olivier, like he's cooked. If he has no shot going into the league, it's over. Boban was slow by NBA standards, but just good enough to stay in the league for nine years and make $38 million plus endorsement deals. Dude was in tons of commercials from Goldfish to State Farm, and of course, acting like all these freakishly tall guys. Boban and John Wick 3. In fact, I think NIL money will be huge for Olivier and Oh yeah, that's a good point. If I were him, I would focus on my social media game to capitalize on the curiosity people have yeah, about YouTuber. Him. But Boban stayed in the league because he was a great teammate and a hard worker. And we already see those two things from Olivia. So I think he's got the skills to have a look at the NBA. He's not- I'm not gonna lie. I'm just watching his clips right now. He looks like he'd be uh, an easy lick for a 1v1. I'm down to 1v1 on one day. Bro, I feel like I could beat him in 1v1, all jokes aside, because look, he's not fast enough to where I can, I can blow past him in the paint. Yeah, he has long arms. He's not blocking my floater, bro. It's not, it's not possible. And then next time I'm gonna go in the paint, He's gonna run to the paint. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna dex him. I'm gonna come back out to the three and he's gonna be too slow. I'm shooting over him and scoring. I feel like he'd be an easy 1v1 uh, matchup for Unlike me. Unlike those other failed guys from the beginning of this video who had to go into acting, Olivier can play. But being super tall ain't good enough anymore. Dude still has a long way to go, even at seven foot nine and growing. But the worst performing video that I've done in forever, I know I've said that previously about other mm. videos. This one's even worse than that. It is the sons of NBA players who are about to enter the draft. Like we have 15 kids in uh, the top 75 be good. recruits. Hey, if y'all want me to watch the uh, this one next, let me know. But yeah, I'm actually, I actually kind of do want to watch this one. Um, but hey, this was a good video. Olivier, no pressure, man. You got this.